I don't know. Welcome to Booze and Ballin' Fantasy Football Shaken. Not stirred. I'm Todd Webb. I'm DK. And rhyme. Speaking of DK, the draft's a couple weeks away. <laughs> <laughs> like that rhyme popped into my head and it messed me up. Anyway. Welcome back. Uh, tonight's inspiration? The Azalea. And the Masters. Nope. The Azalea. I mean. <laughs> Golf clap. Golf God, do you remember Thus golf clap is a thing? <clears throat> yeah, we look like we know what we're doing. You know what you're doing. I don't I know what don't I'm doing. I don't talk about that anymore. Uh, that's a long time ago. So what's tonight's inspiration? Actually, tonight's inspiration is the best week of the year. It's Masters Week, baby, and I get to talk about it a little bit. I do love this week. Um, I did spend a little bit of my career in the golf business, so uh, I love the sport. I watch it every week. My wife hates it, but I love it. Um, it's actually really fun right now with the wind, and these boys are getting crushed. John Rom shot like plus five today. Was it? Did Spieth go in the water twice on that one hole? Oh my god, it was awesome. Was that what it was? Was yeah. it Spieth? It was awesome. Like you knew it was going to be a tough day sitting there watching hole one, and everybody <laughs> thinking they hit good tee shots, and it's just like right rough bunker that bunker right rough bunker everybody was like where the hell is that going <laughs> yeah the flags were at a full like they were they looked like they were 12 fake. 12 was like a two club wind and it looked like <laughs> on the green the flag wasn't even moving and then uh 11's t or 11's flag was blowing the other direction <laughs> it's like what, is that? what do you do no it definitely it's definitely making it interesting and I, I saw a lot of balls end up in the water yeah tiger woods sets the record for most cuts or consecutive cuts 24 man. cuts in a row that's insane that's just to think he's been golf he's been ball. a pro for 24 years if you think about it that's weird yeah i mean it's not weird but that's weird right has he did he play in it every single year he hasn't played in it every single year well when he so heard, i think when he hurt his back when he was in that one action he's been a pro for longer than that's what i'm getting at. oh yeah anyway because he hasn't played in it every single year. freaking tiger woods fucking tiger congratulations tiger inspiration to everybody especially when you're come to relationship advice azalea inspiration oh yeah Ooh, what's all in this again this is the so we're doing the the traditional version which you find on the master's website is more of a vodka lemonade and grenadine we're doing the we're gonna turn it this way not fuck you I'm fuck, this is a big lemon we're doing more of a the more <laughs> popular version well, that's what she said which is like that has the pineapple juice, which is people like the pineapple juice. I don't know yeah. what it is. Yeah. Well, speaking of juice, speaking of juice, is, is it eternally too <laughs> soon to reference OJ? Uh, no, I think he kind of fucking deserves it. Um, speaking of juice, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, everybody heard the news. OJ Simpson died. I figured we'd talk about it a little bit. Cut this bitch in half. That is a. Dick That's lemon. Big lemon. You picked up big lemons. That's what happens when you buy it from the Mennonites. Uh, how many? Mennonite? What, the, what, what is the question? Said how many Mennonite? <laughs> <laughs> that I've never heard that. I lived in this country ass town. You've never for, heard that for, a joke for the Mennonites? Like, oh, they're Mennonites. How many? <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, so OJ passed away at 76 or something. Yeah. Um, my buddy got me with one of them pictures, one of them rude and vile pictures of huge male anatomy. Can I tell you? And uh, these things happen. It was basically like OJ com uh, confesses on his deathbed. The, I, do you are you funny? You say that because <laughs> I was talking to a couple people and like, it, okay, so. Would it not be? Is this supposed to be shaken or stirred? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna a little jar it here. Okay. Would it not be funny if like you go into his family goes into his safer in his will and you find like the evidence and he's got like the other glove and he's like, <laughs> <"Did it." laughs> let's hope. Like, I mean, we all know he did it anyway, right? Well, he definitely like, did it. Yeah. He definitely did it. Yeah, for sure. All right, man. So you're getting your azalea. Hold on. All Wait, right. Man. Wait. Squeeze the juice. Wait. Ooh, lemon, Garnishy. Little lemon wedge. Garnishy. So if you want to know how to make these, you tell them. We got to get you a cherry. 
Ooh, I like cherries. Yeah, if you'd like to uh, learn exactly how to make the drink that we're drinking right now is the Azalea. Uh, Todd did a full description on TikTok, so you can check us out on TikTok page, uh, and he'll tell you exactly how to make this and delicious. They are, they are refreshing. There's a nice it refreshing really summer drink. I'm excited to try it. Yeah, you get pretty, pretty pink. Mm-hmm. To the masters. To OJ. To evidence. <laughs> to the Kardashians. Mm. This is a refreshing drink. I mean, we well, like that. You boy, I've, I've been drinking them. I mean, I'll drink them more on the weekend. We got to work during the week, but <laughs> this weekend I'll be plowing through a whole There's bunch, bunch of these. Excuse. This is, mm. this is how messy it gets. And I get yelled at for having this back here. I'm going to have to uh, stop on my way home. I'm taking one of these lemons home with me. Hey, Hillary yeah. would really Pineapple like juice. Shit, Hillary pregnant. Pineapple juice, lemon, grenadine, and vodka. Yeah, that's going to go quick. To the Masters. Go Tiger. Cheers, Augusta. I love that golf course so much. That's it's so precious. Place. It's so beautiful. Um, I, you'll never get to play it, though. You'll have to sell a testicle, and even then you No, I want to get in the lottery to go. I just want to yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go soon. We will hopefully get there at some point in my lifetime. Um, well, do you remember the Weaver family, John yeah. Weaver? And, well, um, oh, cool. my God. His son is Jay Weaver. Is yeah. One of the uh, head, uh, head pros there. Real Jay Weaver? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Never saw that one coming. But there's two of them. I think there's two head professionals there. He's one of them. I, mean, yeah. I don't remember if he's the teaching professional or what exactly he does there. But oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they used to live right. He used to live like right around the so, corner from me. Here's the I'm thing. So he's favorite. one of the head per golf professionals at Augusta National, right? How many people do you think he gets to take on the golf course every year? I. It's probably a really low number. Is it zero? One. He used to take one guest a year. Mm-hmm. That's insane. I mean, that's why it's Augusta. Mm-hmm. I just, oh yeah, I just want to go watch there sometime. Maybe go streaking. I don't know. I hear it's absolutely insane, and TV doesn't do it justice. Like the hills and the it's more beautiful. The, oh yeah, they say the colors there are just out of this world. If you don't golf, like there's a lot of average golf courses, but being out on a golf course when it's nice out is it's un, it's really unbeatable. You go out it's there with your buddies, place. you get out there, you're out there four or five hours, it's beautiful, little breeze, whatever, it is so incredibly relaxing. There's no such thing as a bad day of golf. No, well, until you run out of balls and have to sit in the cart and watch the rest of the round. That's close, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to garnish these with golf balls, but I thought, too, yeah. That would have been weird. That would have been weird. Unless it was like a golf ball ice chiller thing. Oh, that would have been a good one. But it's a good drink, though. I do love these. Sweet. See, I normally up until this, I used to always do the regular one, which is just a le- like a lot of lemonade. This one has more sweetness to it. The other yeah. one's a little more like tart, I guess you could say. No, this one's good. I like this one. I like the pineapple. I actually, you know how your taste buds change every seven years or some shit. Like yeah, that? I had that conversation yesterday. Uh, really weird, because um, it just happened to me. I used to hate pineapple, and now I absolutely love pineapple. It's like one of my top really? fruits. I eat it all the time, like just straight up. You hated pineapple hated pineapple my whole life and then all of a sudden the other day it was like for some reason my brain was like yeah try that again let's do that and i put one in the mouth and i was like hey like i didn't hate that and i sat there and ate like a whole container of it i'm like dude oh, pineapple has always been a good makes your oh. semen taste good too apparently. that's what i hear i don't know I'll better never, than dairy i'll probably never find out you're not gonna tell you that it was good because <laughs> then you're gonna like so oh, well if it was good those will keep up the good work champ <laughs> All right, so what we decided, so the draft is three, two, two, three, three weeks away. Yeah, we've kind of hit a law in the free agency right now. It's been very, other than Stefan Diggs, it's been boring. But so what we want to do is we're going to do two drafts. One today, we're going to do a rookie draft. Uh, we're going to draft a team, no scoring, no nothing like that. We're going to draft players like if we were drafting a redraft, but only rookies. And you said whether it could be based on just talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, pretty sorry. much like this is going to be more like the fantasy side, who I think has the most potential. Potential, that's the word. Talent, potential, basically. Yeah, Name, yeah. ranking, whatever, combine. Who has the most potential to be a contributor year one, in my opinion? And then we're going to... When your opinion. Yeah, and it's based on what we know now from what we've seen in the off season, or what we haven't seen, you know, from right. some people. And then... We'll do another draft that basically says once we know where they land, like, okay, I would probably take this guy over that guy simply because he's got Justin Herbert throwing him the ball. 
yeah, it's going to be neat for us to do this now for you guys. And you'll see like how we we're each going to pick two quarterbacks, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end and a flex. And we're going to see we're we're going based on who we like based on only college and all that. And based on I these. think what we're going to do is whoever's team completely gets drafted first wins. Loser does a shot of the newly made infinity bottle, which stay tuned on TikTok. I'll be showing you the infinity bottle. If you're not, if you don't know what an infinity bottle is, I got a tutorial coming out of what they are. I'll take it a step further. They are delicious. I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to say my team will beat your team in a total points race next year. Just rookies straight up. Are we doing this? I thought we were going to do that for the next one after we know well, landing thought- spot. Okay, yeah, that works. All right. So we'll make that because then we know. Because right now it might be like this all, is right, all right, all right, all right, oh, deal, deal, deal. That works. <laughs> I, I like that idea actually better because so this will be for the shot. So when they, so what we'll do is after we know landing spots, we're gonna redraft, gotcha. and then we'll compare and see how different. Like, do you still like this guy? Do you still like this guy? Yeah. Like, you might be like, I like this receiver, but not a, not as much as this guy because of where he landed. And then what we'll do is we'll run that team for the season, and that'll be like we'll bet a bottle. I should buy a bottle of punchers on that. I'm on it. Just a fun one, because we're going to have multiple other bets throughout the year. I like it. But I like betting. So you like it? Oh, dude. They could have sucked through them, right? I think. Dude, like, if I drink these, they're at a pool. If I'm at a pool party and somebody's serving them up, I'm going to be drunk real quick. Yeah. I'm going to suck through these like the girl who's just dying to be popular in high school. <laughs> 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 just... <laughs> Oh, uh, the one that's oh man, I can't have so many comments, but I don't know what I'm allowed to say. What I, that was inappropriate. I, <laughs> it was so inappropriate. I'm clipping that though. Yeah, she probably had an eating disorder or something. Oh, I'm sorry. No, they are. That's the problem is when it's nice out, these things just go. Imagine on that golf course. I'd see like the first four groups, and then you just see me by a tree going. <laughs> Actually, everything. Probably, whenever I play in a four man scramble this year, I am going to make a fucking jug of these to take out. Do we have to? I haven't, I haven't played a scramble in like two years. Yeah, we got to get in one this year. We got to do a booze and ball scramble. We should host a scramble. Oh, yeah, booze and ball and four man scramble. Oh, yeah. Next time, oh, we're going to have to split so much out. I know, but, but it's, we're not going to live up to our name. It'll be bourbon on every fucking team. <laughs> box. Like every season. It'll be our top 18 rated fucking bourbon. 18 weeks. Every... Each hole has what we did that week. The NFL's 18 weeks now. Did we just come up with something like right now? Like that's the thing. We trademark. Trademark. We got to talk about this. But so like whatever we reviewed each week. So hole one, whatever we reviewed those weeks are at that hole. And you either do a shot or you drink a beer at. Oh, no, because people will die. Not just drink a beer. Just taste just, it. Little, like, a not taste full, it. like a little taste. You It'll get to taste, taste everything that we reviewed. Yeah. Uh, Once we get the following, like that last tick, that this TikTok thing blew up. If that keeps flowing up, we get the following, we get enough people to host a tournament. That's I, the I'll way to it. do it. I, I mean, that's what I used to do. I used to fucking that's run tournaments. Idea, 18 holes, 18. And we do 18 weeks. We do 18 shows in the regular season. That's that's a really good idea, actually. We need to talk about that more. I'm gonna, I, so I, I, wanna, I can I'm probably write that down so we don't forget. I could probably get like six foursomes, at least seven foursomes, just right now off the top. Oh, of my we gotta, head. we gotta, we gotta reach out guys. to TLC Four Play uh, for uh, that group. Yeah, 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 that guy. They host. Well, what was his name? Frederick or something like that. Yeah, they do it. And actually, we gotta reach out to them in general. Get them on here. Uh, yeah, that'd be a good He's idea. A cool dude. He, yeah. All right. So, um, let's draft a team based on our talent, based on who we like. And uh, what we'll do is we'll do it. We'll do it this time. So whoever goes first, well, we'll just go back and forth. I'm gonna let you go first because you got to run the beer mark. <laughs> you keep reminding me of that. <laughs> I am not. I'm. I'm going to keep. That's coming up that. like real soon. I started working out yesterday. Oh, yeah, <laughs> did, did you did. tell? Get ready no, for it. Your shirts are a little snugger. I don't. It's uh. So so speaking of which, I saw Rory walking on the tee box. Oh my god, he's busting out right here. He's he's he's, he's getting bigger, and his game's getting worse. He's getting, well, he shot like five over today. He did something. not look. Good. He did not look. Good. A lot of people didn't look good. That course is tearing them up right now. When Desha- it's windy, oh, I couldn't even imagine. Deschambeau is. He's trying to just overpower the golf he course. He is. He's just trying to use his power to cut through the wind, and it worked. It worked day one. 
and we're gonna suck. That's the problem. These are so good. Like we're not even like to the draft, and <coughs> we're already through these. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. Sorry, I had so, a week. I had a week. So I'll go first. We'll go back and forth, and then after the draft, we'll keep the same super flex order. Well, it's not really. It's two quarterback, oh, okay. but no scoring. So it's not. Gotcha. You're not starting anybody for this one. Oh, so this is just like straight up. Okay. Now for the one after. I guess we'll have to run it kind of like a super flat. It, every every player counts, so you're always starting two quarterbacks. You're always every player counts for points okay. for the season. So it's that's not next draft. Not that's one. the next draft. This one we're just kind of playing around, getting ready for the next. One. So I get to go first. All right. Who do you take it, Marvin Harrison? No, no. I'm gonna start it off with who I, I like him better anyway is Malik Neighbors. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean. You know me. I, honestly, I'm not even sure Marvin Harrison Jr. actually exists at this point because nobody's seen him do shit <laughs> after college. He's like just there. Yeah. I'm a, com- just... I'm a combine. We're going to say this how many times. I like to see after college before draft workouts. It's my thing. You are big on the NFL combine. Um, yeah. And then I also saw his shoe game with that red suit and it just was not working for me. Oh, I will I will draft you solely based on your wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I, that will make a decision for me. How do you hate Jalen Hurts? Like Russell then? Westbrook? You don't like Jalen Hurts? He's Hertz's a first fan? round draft pick. <laughs> Cuz he just takes the takes chances. <laughs> <laughs> he takes chances. <laughs> right, so let's call it that. Let's you know who's fit I love? Always have, like, Jason Kelsey. He never like when he he never really? disappoints when he comes dressed and showing up like he dressed up That's like, like the, the last dude, person that I when he dressed up you the said. dude from Fifty First Dates, the weird brother who always liked to work out. Sean, what's his name? Sean something. I forget. He I dressed forget. up like him coming in. Like Jason Kelsey is. He's he's great. I yeah. love the way he dresses. With stuff. I know. He's a good dude. Who's gonna be the dumbest dressed at the draft? Ooh. Who's gonna look like overdo it? Or just be like it's a... gonna be Marvin Harrison Jr. Probably, yeah. He's always wearing them. Is it going to be red? Is it going to be red? It might be. It better not be. It not that be. bright red one, anyway. It better be like a, like a darker red. Do you think he... I could see Caleb Williams looking like a dumb I would go with that like, crazy silver gray that they have. That's what I would wear if I was OSU. If I had to call a guy, I think I think the most outrageously dressed might. Like, not, it's not going to look bad. I'm going with Roman Wilson, and I'm hoping he wears, like, a Wolverine, like, yellow suit. That's what I <laughs> would do. Be, like, especially with Deadpool 3 <laughs> coming out. Oh, I could Pretty not real. wait. Oh, we, we're going to do, Booze and Balls is going to do a show from there. <laughs> At least try to. Yeah, hopefully we don't get kicked out of the theater. <laughs> if we do! Yeah, worth it. Know. Worth it. All right, so I started this off, and I took, I'm going to, yeah. I took Marvin Harrison. I'm No, I took Malik Neighbors. Oh, I first. know. I'm picking. So you're up. I'm going to take the guy you absolutely hate. I'm going with Caleb Williams at number two. That's probably where I should have gone, like, if I was smart. But again, I ain't seen him do shit. Listen, that guy's got arm talent that we haven't seen in the NCAA, really. I mean, even Patrick Mahomes wasn't doing this shit yet in college. No, I know. He's probably not going to flop. He's had a bunch of games where he's rushing (laughs) 45-plus runs down the field. Let me clarify. I mean, Caleb Williams is talented. and. As much as we argue, like, I get it. His He's pocket. probably going to be good. His sense, I just don't want him to. If you watch his tape. He does. If you, does. Like he told you to. If I you watched watch 23 it, of his tapes. The other seven, I guess he threw away. They, they burn up you, somehow. If you watch his tapes, the, his presence in the pocket is, like, unmatched. Like, he, he it reminds me of Vic. Like, I think I said this before. He reminds me of Vic. Did how all of a sudden, now. he'll just spin out of there. And it's like, how did you see that guy? You didn't. No, you he feel it. He's, he's been away. Good from at extending a play. I will give it to him. And then he also's got here. He's got here. He's, yeah, I, he's throwing it here. He's probably not going to be a bust. Dick here. He's not going. I get. He's not going to be a bust. And I think I honestly I just love the shit on him because of when <laughs> he talks, he basically says, "Hey, shit on me." I think, and I I think <laughs> that's like he'll get better with the media. You can tell he's like a weird nerdy dude. Like he, he's not, he's not comfortable. He feels, yeah, he's, I think when cocky, he gets in front of a camera, like he feels like he has to be cocky. like a default mechanism, right? It's that almost like sense. defense, and it's like, hey, like go watch the tape. Like people took that all the wrong way. I think he's just misunderstood a little bit. That's true. I still hope he's a bust. I don't think he's going to be. I think he's going to be insane. Uh, I know he's not going to be, but I hope he is. It's just, oh uh, man, I can't wrong hole. We've all been there. I know. Oops. 
Oh, you sucked through that. Holy crap. That's good. Where are we going to drink now? Lemon? Where's my cherry? Oh, you got to eat the cherry. Those are those $20 stupid cherries that are worth... I, when I was... If you would have told $20 me... $20 that I would cherries? These. Okay. These cherries, these Luxardo, Luxardo cherries. If you told me that I would spend $20 on a jar of cherries, I'd call you an idiot. But when I started bartending and making cocktails and stuff and realizing how good they were, it's, they're worth every penny. Like, if you're making old fashions or cocktails or anything, they are so much better than the uh, red 15 other cherry. cherries. I'm going to eat more. You're going to eat my cherry. No, it's even better because it's been soaking in that fucking drink. All right, so I'm up second. And since you left him there, and as much as I didn't want to take him, I'm going to take Marvin Harrison Jr. What? It's going to give me a nice little start. I like that. You're going to go both, huh? You almost have to. The only reason I went with Caleb is I think he's going to be a generational talent. But that's just me. And honestly, I should have probably, if you're taking him, you're going to take him top two, top one. He's going to go first overall in the draft, so he's got to go off the board. But I'm taking Marvin Harrison because he's still there now. Yeah, I like it. He's <laughs> obviously he's one of the best talents in the draft offensively, but hey, you can't go wrong. With I will that see. Thing. Let's I mean, I'm not going to gonna give you a chance to take the top three then, so I'm taking Roman. Oh, wait. Dunes. I hate you. Yeah. He's my dude. I know. He's your you know dude. You know how hard it was me not to I take him? I was surprised. Him? He, you almost, yeah. I kind of, that's I, what I thought you would go with. And if you were going to But take like him. he's there, it's like, yeah. okay, so based on landing spot, I might take Rome over him. Like yeah, in like four if, or five weeks when we do this. If the Giants get stupid and end up with Marvin Harrison Jr., I'm not taking him first overall. I wouldn't no. take him first overall <clears> either. Do you which know also who? makes me kind of nervous. You're never going to guess who Marvin Harrison Jr.'s As a matter of fact, comparison is. Get rid of that trade. You're never going to guess who. You know they do player comparisons who like you look like coming into the league. You're never going to guess who Marvin Harrison Jr.'s Marvin Harrison Jr.'s comparison is. I, yeah, I can only imagine. It just says daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really say daddy? No, it doesn't say daddy, <laughs> but it should say daddy. It says Marvin Harrison Sr. Oh, man. But how much, how much funnier on, your, on these draft books and boards and, and sheets if it just said daddy? Daddy. All right, like so it. you took Rome Odunze. Yeah. Who, man, I love him. Odunze. I hope he ends up, I think. That's yeah, all we'll they had him compared to Devontae Adams. I like it. Yeah, I can see it. That's, they're built very similarly. They, yeah. They move a lot alike. I think Devontae's got better hands, though. Probably. But Rome, Rome can get him. Like he can Rome, always, yeah, he can always become that. Well, I guess at three. It's not fair to compare a rookie to one of the best wide receivers in the league. No, it's not fair. Like, at, at the moment. <laughs> uh, third. So I'm going to take third for my team. I'm going to take, and I'm going to skip what ranking is. I'm going to take Drake May. For my first quarterback. Ooh, Drake. I like Big him. Drake. I like Drake May. I just like, I don't know, I like the way he OVO. looks. OVO. I can get my, would you call him Rufio? OVO. That's oh. Drake. Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like I, I liked his pro day, too. He had some bad throws, but I, I don't know. I feel like he's going to be solid. And I think there's a chance that he, I, I, everyone thinks Jaden Daniels to Washington, but I could see Drake May going to Washington, too. Which we're going to do that in about a yeah, week or so. Yeah, I don't know so. how that happened. Like, when the offseason started, everything was Drake May second. Drake May, Drake May, Drake May. It was always Caleb Williams and then Drake May, Drake May, Drake May. Now, somehow, Jaden Daniels has made the jump. I don't know how. But... You see his elbow? Who's that? Jaden Daniels' elbow. You see the, the memes and the pictures? Like when he's throwing, like his arm comes down and then his elbow like has a shelf where people can sit on, and then it comes back. <laughs> that's so weird. Do you got to look it up at some point when you're done? You gotta look no, up. that's going to make me So really... he's, like, throwing, and, like, the no, elbow... No, moving on. I'm going to go ahead. so protruded, protruded, like, it's... He's got, like, a little shelf. That's... It just must be the way... Yeah, it's Start weird. It's got to be the way that the pitcher is, and everyone's like, oh, look at his elbow. He's got a little shelf there. He's got something wrong. No, he's, he's just like, got a know. deep elbow, because I got a little shelf. Someone's got a deep elbow. A shelf. All right. Um, I'm gonna go. This is strictly going with best available as far as like positional talent. Where are you going at three? I'm going Brock Bowers at Ooh. tight end. I think he's one of the best prospects in the draft. Um, he's just an absolute beast. I, there's not even a whole lot to say. Uh, let me ask you a question here. He, so he's been a monster since he's. No, he is. He's been doing it. He is gonna be a beast. And and I think he's a day one starter. I think he's gonna be. That leads me to this question, which we talked about earlier. Tight ends now. Mm -hmm. It's not 
two, three tight ends, and then eh, I don't need to draft oh, one. Right, right. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's like, crazy how... So, rookie draft, he's amazing. But mm-hmm. if you look at where the fantasy landscape stands now, where it did two years ago... Yeah, like 2019, 2020. There are 10 to 15 tight ends that I would say you could start now. Oh, easily. He's going to be one of them. Think about it. Dallas Goddard used to be like a top five option. Yeah, and now, now there's I want to a say lot of guys there. He might even be like not even top ten. That five to ten, I think they're all the interchangeable. Same, like, yeah, even so, even four to ten, and they're all going to be getting you like twelve points almost a game. It's no longer Travis Kelsey and everybody else, right? And yeah, it's a had, lot deeper field. Yeah, you had Mark and like Mark Andrews is no longer a second round pick like he's been. Mm-mm. People were going super early on Mark Andrews. Granted, he's still a really good option, at right? Tight end, but. It's crazy. It, like you don't have Laporta to fight to get one of those in. three guys. Hell, you even got the get the two boys in Green Bay that are both <sighs> Luke Musgrave both. and Tucker. What's his last name? Kraft. Kraft. Thank you. I can't believe that they drafted two, but they're going to use them. Oh, dude, they've Green got Bay's the, scary. They are scary. They've got that old, not old. Well, I guess it is old now. We're getting old. Uh, the Patriots offense, basically. I yeah, hope they're watching. And they a lot are of young and cheap. Their and salary fast. cap. They have so much room. And fast. They could add a stud at. Any given moment because they had the well, salary they did cap with Jacobs. They, well, they did. were just like he's the oldest dude on the team. Thank you, and he's twenty six. I know it's so <laughs> crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like so, Brock Bowers. Like as far as rookies go, he's a stud, and I think he's the only like right as of now today, based on what we know, talent and all that stuff. He's like the one standout. Yeah, type. and I think especially in this draft class, I think he's the only like because last year you were you drafted. I think three of them went off the board or so. Um, but this year I can only see him being drafted unless you're super needy at tight end and you're like, I'm taking a shot on your, uh, um, I'm not telling you who I like <laughs> the tight end. No, I'm not the telling you. We're going to move on. We're going to move uh, on. I can't take another oh, one. Oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you'll find out later. I'm yeah, gonna, if you can't take him, you know who I'm taking at tight end. Yeah, I'm not even going to take him until right, the I'll, end. I'll let you talk about him. Then. So what for, by the way, I am parched. What do you want to drink next? We are we're not rating anything today. This is a uh this was an Azalea episode. So if we're gonna rate an Azalea as a summer cocktail, Ooh, let's I'm do put, that right now. What are you going at? As like a refreshing summer cocktail. Yeah. I couldn't dra- I couldn't rate it as a golf cocktail because I've only it's the only one. We gotta find <laughs> drinks for other majors. If they do other majors have any? Maybe they might at each course they might have their own thing. For people out there who don't watch We can do some research. There are a lot of Azaleas on the golf course it's in Augusta flower. National. It's a flower. That's where it's from. That's where the color. That's where everything. Pink. That's why they serve it. They save it on Mag. They serve it on Magnolia Lane in Augusta National. Like it's served there, and their price. Their pricing. You see, their pricing is still all really good too. Yeah, they make enough money off of their they merchandising tent. Oh, I would come home with a suitcase full of shit. Oh, I know everybody does. So rating this as a summer I, cocktail. I can't wait to see the numbers, but it's do that fucking tent makes like five hundred thousand dollars an hour. Oh my god! I know my my client. He went there and he came back with like, coasters and this and that. I'm like, I'm telling yeah. you, like it, you can look it up. They released the numbers at some point. Like it makes an insane amount of money per hour. Not just like it makes insane like millions upon millions of dollars of sales go through that tent because that's the only place that you can buy Augusta National gear if you're not. A yeah, member. you can't. They will not they, sell they it. They don't get anywhere, anywhere else. So if you're a, out there buying shit that has a Masters logo on it, it's, it's, it's probably a bootleg. You can only get only there. Yeah, and it fits different. Their shit is just top dollar. It's so good. But yeah, no. Well, the, yeah, like the, their the coasters food thing is like are, you can get a burger for like three bucks still. Their money. coasters are like a like a woven quilt inside of like a wooden rim. Like yeah. the, he got the bar coasters. Nice. They're so nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to put a drink on You're this right. coaster. The coaster is too. I'll, I'll just fuck up the table instead of the. Yeah, coaster. just fuck up. Don't fuck up. The table. <laughs> All I'm right. Uh, so that I would say. For a summer cocktail, it's refreshing. It's easy. It's actually really good. And it was easy. You made it sit in here. Because it's easy. easy to make. There's not a lot in it. It's refreshing. I'd give it a solid 85 yards. I'm with it. Fair enough. So yeah. we did rate something. Is there is an 85-yard drink? I keep looking over there, but the camera's over I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 85, too. Because, like, that's definitely one that you could make, like, a big fucking, like, poolside pitcher. And stick it on your golf cart. Jungle juice cart. And just throw it on. Yeah, you could literally put it on the second side. Just get your own cart and strap that bitch into the second <laughs> golf bag holder. And just, oh, good God. 
All right. Uh, so what are we? So what are we drinking next? And then we're gonna keep going. Let's. Here. Um, what do you want to do? We got a bunch of stuff we could slug from. Uh, I see you got some more punchers. I did. I got you a punchers. Do you want to do your punchers? I think we should crack that open. Yeah. I rated this a 91. This was one of my favorites. Ooh. <laughs> this, so you can't see back here, but it looks like a bar threw up on my back, <laughs> on my bar here. On the on the studio bar, it looks like we've been drinking for five, six hours back we, here. We kind of almost have. <laughs> it's true. I had these prepared just in case. <laughs> did you get it? First try. You got a logo. This is why Punchers is my shit, dude. Punchers nose. Punchers yeah. nose. Broke right on the fucking scene. All right. So so far, yeah. I went neighbors, Marvin Harrison Jr. and May. You yeah. went Williams, Romo Dunze, Brock and Bowers. Brock Bowers. That's a solid start. It's a solid start. Okay, I'm up on four. You are killing me at wide receiver, but I'm killing you everywhere else. Well, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm going to be the first one to take a running back then. Ooh. And I am going to go with Jonathan Brooks. Now, is he my favorite running back? No. But he's the number one overall rate running back. And based on talent in college, got to take him. I'm taking Jonathan Brooks. I like it. Um, I, I think mean, you got to ignore the injury. Right. I mean, he's six he's, foot, 216. They're going to heal. He's coming back. I would have liked to see him run. They say he's like Javante Williams. No, I will say that. If you are in immediate need, oh my god! I haven't had punchers since we raided it. I know, and it's fucking here. Smell it. Is it okay? Back to what it's I was so going to say. If you need immediate need at running back this season in a dynasty league, I don't think you're like don't spend a one hundred and three on Jonathan Brooks just to go out there. I would try and trade back to pick up a Jonathan he'll, Brooks. He'll probably sit. I think so too. I think, right? I think I there's coming off eight of that guys injury, that go above him. Yeah, you mean in the draft itself, in like a rookie draft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that on the next episode. But go yeah, ahead. so I'm going to take him because he's touted the number one. So I'm going to start my running back car, core off with the number one running back in Jonathan Brooks. I love the bottle too. It's such a I good really do, and it's only thirty bucks, dude. When you sent me that picture, I was yeah. like, what the hell? I thought it was like a sixty dollar bottle. No, it's thirty. That's a very if you can get Puncher's Chance, it's thirty dollars. It's one of our favorite bourbons. It's a very approachable, very easy. It doesn't kill your throat. Doesn't kill your palate. It's got this cool tiger on the bottle. Yeah, it's got a cool tiger on the bottle. It reminds you of like that tattoo you get when you're eighteen. Like I got to get something in my arm. At first, when I first saw it, I literally thought it was the tattoo that went around Mike Tyson's eye. But <laughs> <laughs> Puncher's Chance. Well, cheers to that. Cheers, um, well, mate. puka nuka to that. Puka nuka. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> you break the table? God, that, that does. That is good. All right, so you're up with your fourth pick. Who are you taking God, for? An easy drinker. Oh, where am I at here? You're up. At so I stopped at Bowers. I'm going to go a little a little off the rail on this one. Now, this is my dark horse. And it's not because he's white. He's been a beast at Georgia. I like my Georgia players this year. I'm going with Lad McConkey. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Lad McConkey. Yeah, you heard me. Look Fuck him up. Lad McConkey. Look him up. Hold on here. Give me some. <laughs> lad mcconkey yeah i'm never i'm yeah. never gonna stop saying lad oh lad. i found him yeah is it weird that his picture he's giving finger guns he just looks that's like the, that. that's <laughs> <laughs> let's read about lad here even better um you know what you know what lad's pros are he's a better <laughs> hunter renfro he understands the game he's smart but he's faster stronger better so he's like, you know, he, I think he's a better Hunter Renfro. I do like Hunter Renfro. You know what they compare him to? The early career Golden Tate. That's even better. Yeah. I do love Hunter Renfro because he's like, the. remember what, two years ago, he got like 27 targets a game. Yeah. Ridiculous. Cool. And he caught like 20 of them. He you was a monster. And let me like the, the garbage man. <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about what they were calling him. But... For those of you who don't know about Lad McConkey. McConkey. 
I'm going to draft her based on his name. Yeah. Pros for Lab McConkey. Speed and acceleration. Oh, dude, he's in a great route runner. And he's a smooth operator. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, he but his cons, though, woman. but his cons, though, modest production and short arms. <laughs> so, short arms. <laughs> I want to know his short wingspan arms. now. So he's six foot. What does he got? Like a five foot wingspan? So he's like. <laughs> <laughs> He's a T. We'll call him. T, we'll call him Lad the T Rex McConkey. Tiny little T Rex arms. McConkey. I don't know. T Rex Conkey. So Lad McConkey's where you go at four. Oh, I love my receivers. Oh yeah, me too. I don't love. It. All right, so I'm up at five. A Dunze and McConkey. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take my second. I'm gonna take my second quarterback, and I'm gonna go with the guy that I do believe in. I think he should be top three. Is JJ McCarthy. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. That's a shocker there. I get I guess I'm just all not about elbow shelf. You fucking passed up on some dudes. That's not just elbow shelf. No, right? I think McCarthy McCarthy looked really good and I think someone's gonna trade up and he's gonna land good. He's got a lot of, I like him. <laughs> I don't know. I like JJ McCarthy. I, I like JJ McCarthy too. I'm a huge Michigan fan. Yes. And I mean he looked really good. But you still think I probably Dude, should have taken like the best thing about JJ McCarthy is his third down percentage complete or conversion rate. Oh my god, he blows everybody it's away. Like seventy some percent. He's like a stone cold killer on third down. For and some as reason. an Eagles fan, you know that I really want that. And that is huge in the NFL. God, that's so good. I know it's a fucking awesome. I anyway, I should have bought them out. <laughs> I'll go back tomorrow. All right, I got to start taking some running backs here. I'm going to go with my guy. I'm going to leave one on the board here, but I'm going with Jalen Wright. Jalen, I'm going with Jalen Wright. Drop like, down the board a bit. I'm going with your. Uh, I'm going with your mentality on the whole combine thing, and I selected the eye test. Yeah, the eye test, dude. This guy jumped uh, like eleven nine or some shit like that. Yeah, it was his broad jump was eleven two. eleven. It was two. eleven two. He's still got a four three eight, and so he's still fast. Eight forty, so he's got some speed. But that eleven two is telling me that he's fucking explosive as ball. What is he? He is five eleven two ten. If you and that's a good sign. Like if, if a running back has got a good broad jump, good like that kind of thing, all of the jumping verticals, all that kind of stuff, you want that explosiveness that they. Well, can when it says generate. home run speed, hyper efficient, and a promising receiver. Yeah, so he's got hands. And a monster. He averaged like 7.3 yards per carry. Lamar Miller. Like Lamar Miller. Whatever happened to him, right? That's who they compare him to? That's a good and one. And did Lamar Miller not hit when he came in? Fuck there yeah. was like two years where he was just everything. a monster, yeah. And then... Was yeah, weird. when he was in Miami, he was a fucking beast. And then he got traded to Houston and just yeah, kind of just, fell off. Well, Houston really wasn't that great. That was... Wait, Lamar Miller in Miami was, was right ridiculous. after their Aaron Foster days, right? Yeah, and because they had blue... Or, uh, Blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was his name? I can't remember either. We're black. And Something blue. blue, dude. This is start with an A. But no, I, yeah, I don't. I don't hate. I don't hate the pick. I don't hate the pick. All right, I'm gonna take. So I'm up, and I am on my sixth pick. I'm gonna stick it running back, and I'm probably gonna hand you another one. But I'm going with my eye with my combine and the way that this dude looked. I'm taking Blake Corum out of Michigan. Yeah, my dude. Uh, yeah, You're I know. Taking all my Michigan guys. I'm taking your Michigan guys, and I'm leaving some Son dudes on there. But he ran hard. He looked like, and which is like they say, some of his one of his pros contact bounce. The way he runs, yeah, I feel like he's not going to be easy to knock over. He's only five eight, but I like him. Y yeah, his comparison I saw a lot of was Ray Rice. And if Ray Rice didn't beat the shit out of people, he would have had a hell of a career, dude. <laughs> Every time I bring up Ray Rice hitting people, you do the same exact thing. Greg Hardy did it like six times. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> he just didn't get caught on video. <laughs> just do it in, in an elevator with a camera <laughs> and drag her out. Yeah, and guess what? She came right back out and was like, please don't end his career over this. And literally was like, I was completely out of line. with the, And like, I'm, she said, like, I'm not condoning what he did. But she basically like backed him up, like saying, "Hey, there was two parties in that, and I yeah. was being completely out of line." Like, which is a whole like she was spitting his face and flat. Like, right? I'm not gonna we... say, I'm not commenting on it, but like when she comes out and says that kind of thing, 
give him his suspension, do that. But they ended that man's career over that. I think they made, they turned him into an example. Exactly. And I thought that was a little bit. And then it's kind of, it's weird. It's kind of going like went, downhill yeah. from, he, like he was the peak of punishment. And then it's kind of. Dude, they they going they downhill him. from there. Yeah, they blacklisted him and was. Dude, like, he was him. a little muscle dude too. Well, and then the he same thing like, happened he to Kareem like Hunt. Bubble uh, Imagine graffiti. Imagine Kareem Hunt would have stayed on the Kansas City Chiefs. That would have been fucking nasty with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, he's got to make better decisions. And we're gonna come back to and some he decision didn't even do anything. Later. That chick was underage with a fake id and was spitting in his face calling him the end oh he was trying to do the right thing yeah and he he like love kicked her i mean she he like shoved his boy through her but <laughs> yeah no it was a get out of here like bye felicia oh yeah, yeah get the hell the fuck out of here i don't want you here no more but anyway i right, saw so you taking it six um i'm gonna go another wide receiver here um I'm really liking Brian Thomas Jr. Brian Flex. Thomas Jr. Yeah, the, the second boy out of LSU. He um, he's really good. He's got prospect written all over him. You he's like got a little bit of work, but the raw talent is there. You he, like and, you like your LSU, and I like it raw. So, um, yeah, talking I know. about talking <laughs> about football. He gets a little overshadowed with the whole Malik Neighbors thing, but again, the, the he's six three, two oh nine. Oh fuck yeah, oh, that's right. He and runs. Oh my Tourette's made me hit my elbow. <laughs> yes, I have Tourette syndrome. So, thank you. Uh, six three yeah, two zero nine. Take advantage. Still of ran it. a four three three. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of sleeping on him. No, Brian Thomas is a beast. I'm telling you right now. What if he has a better career than Malik Neighbors? It's possible. It's it again. It's going to call come down to landing spot. Agility. Neighbors gets drafted by the Giants. His cons, I wouldn't doubt Brian Thomas. It does. That's let's why say Brian I, Thomas ends up with New York Jets and gets Rodgers weeks. throwing him the ball. Yeah, That's why in five weeks this is going to be different. This will be a cool because depending where they end, like I'm not going to take. Huge. So when you're drafting like this, I don't even want to tell you that because then you won't just probably cut the episode off. But <laughs> when what? All this pre-draft stuff doesn't really matter until you know where they're going. It does because you it you study. And you want yeah. so you know like so there's you no know, talent based off. The there's players that'll get a bad landing spot, and people who don't really like follow football and don't study football will think, oh, well, that's that's bad for him. But with his talent, yeah. they're like, you know what, that actually is good. Like Jordan Addison going to like he was good, but they're like, oh, okay, he went with Kirk Cousins and he went behind Justin Jefferson. Still had a good year because Jefferson got hurt. Yeah, as soon as Jefferson came back, Addison kind of. Yeah, but he still showed slow. that he's going to be. He's. St- I think his second year is going to be know, big. Is Jefferson coming back? Is he? Depends what they do at quarterback. He does not uh, want to. He's not going to sign that deal. So it's going to be funny. Like we're gonna. Everything's going to completely change. But the pre-draft stuff is always good to learn your players. Learn like I love it. I love this stuff. Yeah, this is cool. Like I love the mock drafts of knowing like in, in next week or the week after we're gonna sit down and we're gonna do an actual what we're doing you got your buddy's yeah, gonna we pull, have to right? get rid we're gonna have to do that remote though, probably because I forgot that it's not on a Friday, it's a Thursday though when the draft. Oh starts. shit, that's right, yeah. So we gotta get that submitted before that. I think it's So what is it? You got he what's what's the pool that we're doing? Um you basically just do a mock draft, select who you think is and then you score points based on how correct you are. So if the player you select is taken one or two spots after, you still score points. So as long as it's in within a range. So we're going to have to like make our own ex- mock draft. Right. If you, get it, this shit. If, if you get exactly correct, you score like 10 points. If you're in like within the, a couple picks, you get like three or four points or nice. however many picks you're within. So we could win some shit. Yeah. It, well, it's, I think it's a $20 buy-in. Nice. So we're going to do our, we're so going to do our live draft, draft live. Yeah. I like it. To see, all this is like we're basically doing what NFL teams are doing right now. You're like you're analyzing players. They're going to make a draft now. As fantasy players, what they do affects us differently. Yep. But this pre-draft, it's nice to see. Volume oh, volume is king. We fantasy. like these guys, but then in three weeks, we don't like these guys anymore. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. There's two guys on my list. It doesn't matter where they go. I'm probably taking them. Uh, three guys on my list. Caleb Most Williams, of my list, Brock I don't. Bowers. Roma Dunes. I don't care where those three end up. I think I'm wanting them on my team no matter what. I'm be honest. My list completely. I would take no matter. Well, see, I say that, but that's going to change. There's a cup, like yeah. Depending where. See, here's the thing. Do you Blake take Corum, Lee, like Lance? let's say the Giants take Marvin Harrison Jr. 
and you got the 101 in a dynasty draft. I'm, I'm taking neighbors like I did now. You're going to take neighbors over him, right? But I'll tell you what, when I come back around, I would take Rome Odunze over instead of Marvin Harrison. Because he's at the Giants. Yeah. Right, because you might waste the first four years of his career there if they don't get a better So it's going to be interesting. How I'm excited to see how this changes. All right, so what I'm, I'm up on seven. I'm going to fill my flex. So the Giants might fuck up and do some shit like that. And take Giants are going to. The Giants Marvin are, Harrison Jr. because of the name. It's the Giants. They're going to fuck up and do some They're, shit. <laughs> I'm going to go with my flex. Like, how do you not pay Saquon? I'm sorry. I got to go on a rant. How do you not pay Saquon Barkley what he wants and what he's worth? As an Eagles fan, I'm glad they didn't. I know you are because that's a fucking great goddamn pickup. That is. But sick. like, he's been the heart and soul of your franchise. He's the only been reason why you sold jerseys and tickets for the last three years, four years. Because Daniel Jones is there. And yeah, you paid him. Why the Should not have paid him. No. Fuck you, rookie contracts. We were going to revert back to rookie contract. Right, you can edit all that out if you want. No, no, we're not editing anything out. <laughs> That's not what we do here at Booze and Ballin'. All right. <laughs> so fucking rookie. I'm rookie taking my flex. Games. I'm taking my seven. And I'm going to take running backs in the, yeah. the lesser. I need to work for the NFLPA. Get me on the NFLPA I don't, I don't, and I'll fight for I running back. I don't know how that will go. I mean, it might work. But I'm going to take. You're I'm going to tell people to go fuck themselves. That's for sure. <laughs> like, we're, we're, we like this guy. <laughs> I'm going to take a Donya Mitchell. Over Ooh, Xavier really Worthy. It. Texas, right? Xavier Texas. Texas. He was the slower because Xavier Worthy was the one who ran the uh yeah, the, we talked about the four two one. Yeah. But Xavier is five eleven, one sixty five. You know me. I like him a little bit bigger. Yeah. Donye is six two two oh five. And he still ran a four three four. Yeah, usually what I, I've noticed is that there's not many small sorry to cut you off, but there's good. not many smaller wide receivers in the NFL that demand a large target share. <laughs> Tyreek Hill. Devontae Smith before A.J. Brown. Is Devontae Smith smaller? He's kind of tall, though, isn't he? Uh, he's still, well, they call him Slim Reaper. He's still tiny. Oh, he's yeah. tiny. I guess he's more thin. He's, he's tiny. He's like but I'm talking like smaller, short. No, but I think Adonia yeah, like Mitchell's. Maybe Amon Ra is how short is he? He's not real, real big. But uh, again. The... Amon Ra's decent size, actually. Really? He I just looks small in the field. That'd be crazy. Is he really? I gotta I'm that pretty out. sure he's six two. That's fucking crazy then, because he doesn't look that tall in the field. Maybe but... he's just meaty. He's beast. He's like oh, he's, he's like AJ Brown. Yeah, he's yeah, built. Yeah. They're all are. You almost have to be these days. I feel like and, and you have to be a but twig. Anyway, my point or is, is they're not that. There's not that many of them that are smaller out there that are commanding twelve to fifteen targets. No, like we talked about, Xavier Worthy ran so fast, that, like John Ross. Although I do yeah. believe Xavier, like we said before. Xavier Worthy's a better receiver. Oh, yeah. And he's yeah. still going to go. He's I probably so going to get drafted above Adonye. I, me, combine, and what I look at, and this is, again, no landing spot, just preference. Right. I like Adonye over, over Xavier Worthy. I like it. So I'm taking him in my flex. They compare him to DJ Chark in his peak. Uh, this is, I can't believe I'm, this guy's still here. This is the one that I think you were talking about when you said you letting one fall to me, and I'm taking Trey Benson right now. That was the one I was going to let fall to you. Yeah. Um, 6.1 yards per carry last year. Absolute stud for Florida State. He I, might be the Florida best State running back in the draft. absolutely robbed last year on so many levels. Um, dude's six foot, 216, 4440, actually 439. They clocked him at. <laughs> but like, He's a stud. He's up there. I, I could pick him and Brooks one and two. Yeah. Like, either one could be one He's, and two. The good thing is, is the only reason I like Trey Benson going into this year, and if you're going to reach for a running back, I might lean his way just because I feel like he could be an every down back in the NFL just because of his size built, and his, yeah. yeah yeah the way he's built and the way he's he's built for punishment I, I noticed think. that this year's draft a lot of smaller running backs yeah for sure a lot of like change of pace guys this is not a running back draft you're not gonna find a guy coming out of this draft that's gonna command 25 touches a game no so let me hit you with some size for my eighth pick this is the dude you know except for Ray Davis I'm doing a homer going Penn State going Theo Johnson at tight end you would Dude, SS. he's six six two fifty nine. He's a beast. Yes, S. Minnow Johnson. He's oh, so big. Goodness. He's a jump ball gold mine. <laughs> he's in the end zone. He's a jump ball. He like part of his pros wins contested balls. Elite athlete. He's not even gonna see the field. Yeah, you know, he's 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 a boy. He still runs a four five seven. He's still a decent <laughs> quick for a tight end. Six yeah. six two fifty nine. That's well, big. That is big. 
and just still be quick and big. He's got hands too. I hope he goes somewhere good. I think he could be. I think he could be a stud. He could end up with like a, the Chargers or something. Ooh, that actually oh, that ter- would be a great landing That's spot. That's not a terrible idea either because you know Harbaugh saw him play. Ooh. And he needs offensive linemen who can block. Ooh. That's actually a good fit. They take Malik Neighbors in the first round. And then take they Theo in the second so or third. So he kind of is like a blocking tight end that can also give you a receiving threat. Oh, It's not a terrible play. He's not a great blocker. He's not? That's sick, that fucking size? No. He's a go out and get him. He's kind of like Kyle Pitts. Get the fuck out of here at 6'6". Six, six, so- you can't be a bitch at 6'6". Six, six. I mean, if at 6'6", six, six, he's still probably better than a lot like of tight bl- ends just on you're size. Just, you're just taking on, you're chipping a defensive end and, and then yeah, releasing. I mean, he's still, like, he's, still, he's, still, he's still at least throwing him off. Like, he's not yeah. going to sit there and, like, pass block and hold God, a block like a lineman. <laughs> but Theo Johnson, dude, I, I, he's, S-S he's my sleeper outside of Joe Milton. And he's not even a sleeper. He's still one of the top ranked tight ends, but yeah, it's not it's a like, tight end draft. Yeah, no, this tight this tight end draft is nowhere near. As this is a bad year for shit. tight ends and running backs. I but no, it's it's crazy. Uh, back to that tight end position. It's crazy how you've had a couple third year guys pop up like Trey McBride, and then you've got all the rookies that just entered the draft. Okay, the, so a guy like it, where is he going? Got, right. There's so many now. Who needs one? The Jets, Chargers. The Chargers. The Chargers need one. The Jets need one. Washington needs one. Yeah, they've Logan Thomas was good. Um, they just couldn't stay healthy. The Giants are going to need one because Darren Waller's gone. Where's he going? Or just he should be <laughs> the cemetery. He's going. He no, he's just fall. I think he might. That, I thought there was some rumors that he might retire. He probably should. I don't know. Maybe he goes to like Dolphins need one. I could see Darren Waller in that offense. That would actually work there. It would. His speed would. Do help. Theo Johnson be great in that offense too? With all that speed, yeah. you get in the end zone, just have a little. Give it to that dude. Have a little box out in the corner for him. <laughs> you just go out there and box out a guy. I'm trying to think who else? Who else really needs one? Patriots need one. Mm-hmm. There's some teams that need it. Cincinnati. He could end up being. Uh, who's the Cincinnati tight end right now? Oh, um. Uzuma, no, it's not. No, him. he just signed with the Eagles. Did he really? CJ Uzuma just signed with the Eagles. Yeah, that's um, a good pickup for them. He's, he's that is talented. great because they've never had a second tight end uh, since Dallas Clark left, and they and had. I've always Dallas, liked him. Not just, Dallas Clark. He uh, does it all for you too. He's a he'll go in the trenches and dig Brent Selleck. Selleck. Since Brent Selleck left, and Do- and Goddard, Goddard is right behind him. They haven't had like Goddard goes out injured, then the Eagles have no tight end. That's a great signing. Who is the Bengals? Oh, um. I have him it's not in Hurst, your league. It? Not Hayden Hurst. No. No, he's in it. Oh, I'm brain farting on it. Smith. Irv Smith. Oh, right. He was hurt again. Yeah, he was hurt again. Irv Smith. I don't know why I brain fart on names. Like, Smith. I can, I can picture people, but like I brain fart on names all Irv the time. Irv Smith. Yeah, I think last year I'm thinking he was going to be like a sleeper and then just got hurt again like he always does. I picked him up thinking, oh, yeah, he's going there. He's going to be great. So you're up at eight. I know where you're going to go. Yeah, there's only one place to go because I need another quarterback. I've been waiting for that. The man, the myth, the elbow. Yeah, a better Justin Fields. That's what I called Caleb Williams. What? A better Justin Fields. A lesser Uh, Patrick Mahomes. Oh, well, that's where I'm putting Jaden Daniels. I get that. He's got some legs. I want to see what they compare him to before I... I'm going to be... I want to say... Hold on. Before you tell me... Jaden Daniels. Uh, this comparison actually works. This is what I was, it was one of the two people I was going to say. <laughs> Who does he compare to the most? Well, he's skinny as fuck. He throws it better, though. I, like He's not as good of a runner. Lamar? Mm-mm. RG3. Yeah. Dead, I, I, that's dead nuts. That's pretty damn good of a comparison. That, Coming out of college. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's RG3. RG3 that's... got... Based on the way they move, especially, which scares the shit out of me now that you say that, because now his Fuck, knees are probably going to be fucking. I know you know it's good, but I'm fucking ripping through it. As you're fast ripping through it, here. <laughs> Pukanuga, you're ripping through it faster than I am. Uh, yeah, RG three for Jane Dance. That's actually a really good comparison. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it might gonna... be a little better than RG three though. That throwing the ball, that is. I think a better arm. Then RG3, RG3 probably had a little bit better legs, so they're best probably one to say. Actually, I would say not so much arm, because RG3 could fucking sling it all over the place. He just wasn't very accurate. When, what they say about him, his cons are 
high sack rate, slender frame, and takes too many hits. Yeah, you can. So teach. he doesn't get rid of it, but you can teach you that. Can That's teach. all The improvable. moment he finally figures out that the DBs and fucking NFL don't fuck around, <laughs> he'll start getting down a little he'll faster. start getting rid of that. Because when you're in college and you go up and all of a sudden you're like, oh, this guy's like 165 pounds soaking wet. Well, yeah. okay, that's yeah, exaggerating. He, he's you know only I mean? he's six four two ten. But when you get up into the NFL, he's and these mean. DBs are two ten coming down at you, freaking absolutely demolishing you. You're gonna start getting. Down. He's my weight, two inches taller. Yeah. That's actually not that slender. No, yeah. if you think about it, put two inches on me. Yeah, no. I guess I'd stretch out a little bit. Yeah, he's lengthy though. But I'm like I'm like two oh six. So two inches and four pounds. That's not that slender. No. But they're saying he's tiny, and he's not. No. See, that's the thing, though, with these, like... He ain't tiny. Oh, All right, so... I'll tell you. Run real through this real quick. So I'm sitting on May, May McCarthy, Brooks, Corum, Neighbors, Junior, Theo Johnson, and Adanya Mitchell. You're sitting on Williams, Daniels, Wright, Benson, Odunze. <laughs> Lad McCarthy! Lad! Bro- <laughs> and Thomas Jr. We'll see what happens. Like so, whoever's goes off, whoever's that's our draft teams, and then yeah. we'll after the draft, after draft we'll do we'll it. And it's going to be a year long thing for a bottle of punchers. I like it. This Nobody is just, can lose. This we're supposed to plow through that in fifteen minutes. You and I cannot stop getting sidetracked. We are horrible about this. What? what how far are we? We're forty five minutes, aren't we? We're at fifty six minutes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> So we'll wrap it up soon, but I do got to touch on one thing. W-W-R-E, W-W-R-R-D. What would Raji Rice do? What would he do? Probably run. Run! He's far... Raji Forrest Gump Rice. Oh, oh. <laughs> I need to get that jersey made. Over <laughs> under he does time. Raji Gump. He got eight. He's got... I'm going to say he's felonies right now. I'm saying he can. I don't know. What's his suspension? So the back and forth is Texas likes to make an example out of people. Yeah, you f- don't. You don't mess Texas. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Especially like these rich kids. He misses all in. next year is my guess. Some people are saying four games. There's no way. They found 10 ounces of weed, which is why he ran. Dumbass, right. grab it and take it with you. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's a baggie, dude. Just like, I get it. maybe you were do- dazed. If you're going to dip, you might as well take the fucking drugs with you. Like, I get, okay, we all do dumb. Oh, uh, I have a TikTok post coming. Like, I am going to shit all over Raji Rice until this is done. And I'm sorry, his lawyer, hire a new lawyer. When your yeah. lawyer is like, don't, dumbass. don't pick on my client. Don't take that as your client, you dumb motherfucker. There's videos of him. Okay. Getting out, just bouncing. <laughs> you want to race cars? We race cars. Go to the track. We did it. We street raced, did we not? Yes. We smoked weed while street racing. Yes. The difference Whoa, is you when you get into, into a felony. I'm saying, as like our generation, <laughs> our generation, we did it. But you're going to cause an accident and you hit people that are not involved with you and you have the balls to just walk away with that. Just to run away. Walk away from that. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. Like I'm if, sorry, but you're, you're a piece right. of shit. Before and definitely stupid for fucking. We've done dumb stuff. Back. Yeah. And it, like, it is what it is kind of a thing. But like at that point, like now you want to come back and say, oh, I'm going to own and respond. This is the re- me being responsible. I'm taking responsibility for this. If you were going to do that, you were going to stay with the vehicle and make sure that those fucking people were okay. I don't care. I don't dipped. care what apology he gives at this point. Yeah, no, like, the fact that you left, like you had people hurt on the scene, possibly dead and you just did bounced. Like so you basically took the most selfish route. Well, they probably point. took cuz he cuz what went There were probably his mind, things they took with them that no one's going to know about. Yeah, the guns and stuff that were in the probably car. Probably in there. I yeah. guarantee you there was firearms in the vehicle, but anyway. But think about it though. Like the only thing that ran through his head when he hit that fucking wall or whatever the fuck happened, I didn't read into it too far. No, was, he they hit. He instantly four went cars. to, "Oh my god, my football career, I'm out." That's exactly what ran through his head. And there's nothing. And you in can all change. honesty, if he would have stayed and done the admirable thing, he probably gets a lot. His worse football career would be a lot better like, off. Or no, he probably look, went Henry. Rock! But if people are, <laughs> you stay inside the vehicle. You fucking divvy that shit to all your boys, and you fucking tell them to dip. And oh, then there was a college cornerback who's now done. 
Yeah, right. But Raji's going to be just fine. I don't think so. You don't think so? This, the, f- had he not fled? Who was the, wait, who was the college player? Oh, I forget his name. They, they posted there was a college, a college athlete in, in one of the cars too. That sucks. Um, <clears throat> I don't think he's going to be just fine. Because you know how sometimes the NFL, like we talk about Ray Rice. Yeah. Like, he had he not fled, I think he stood a better chance. Because they're going to punish him, and he's going to come back and do all the right things. But the thing is, like, why did you run? Like, you know you did wrong. You know, So, like, you're literally saying, I know I was wrong. I know I did. You knowingly committed this act, and then you want to run to try and save yourself. Like, it, yeah. he's in some shit. Yeah, especially in Texas, because they got some serious laws about fleeing the scene like, like that. especially with people it. being Maybe injured fun but like and we've all been stupid but if Bro, if i can afford a lamborghini suv i'm gonna go rip that thing down through the street yeah too. i'm gonna do it like maybe at night yeah not daytime when the highway is crowded <laughs> like go fi- we like we used to go all those back roads back in the in the fields and that's where we would always straight race yeah street race we yeah, know you can see for there. fucking ever and there's nobody coming you just right go, and you have somebody down at the other way and everyone's saying, yeah, like, no, stop. everyone is gonna be like oh you know they make mistakes they're young they make mistakes Come yes on. we grew up also, fucking i'm not sitting like fast and the furious one came out we all street raced okay but at the same time <laughs> i'm not sitting on the cusp of playing a game for five to eight years yeah. and being ridiculously well off and wealthy yeah to Never say to do another, that I should do that. Like, this is the smartest thing. I, I get you want to have fun. Like, if you, you want to street, good. okay. If you want to street race, street race. You want to smoke weed, smoke weed. You want to carry guns, carry guns. I carry one every day. You want to do this, do whatever. That's fine. Don't fucking do them all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> like one. I'm wondering where you were going. With that. Evil. Don't don't just be like you know what we're gonna do this 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 yeah. hot luck right. of fuckery. Pick a crutch and use it and don't fuck. Like it. It. You want to smoke weed? Smoke weed. Fine, do don't it. It's do the off season. Whatever. That's don't like, do them all together. That is. We need it. That's our next shirt. <laughs> don't do fuckery all at once. Don't do them all at the same time. Like you want to street race? Street the race. Front, be sober. You get in an accident. The front okay. will be everything you just said. You want to smoke weed? Fine. You want to do this? Fine. You want to do this? Fine. You want to do this? I'll this? join Whatever. you. On the back, it'll say, don't do them all at the same time. Like, he literally <laughs> said, I'm going to do, I'm going to break every single, because the NFL's been, the NFL's actually been getting more lenient on, on weed. Yeah. But just like, just like well, the, country the whole has country been. has, yeah. So like, that's fine. But I'm, street race while you're high. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe. Actually, you know, how about don't even drive in the high. car while you're high? Right. Yeah. How like, about not drive? While you're high, don't rent a Lamborghini. Be the only Again. driver. Back, have a fall guy. Like everybody's got a driver. You're fucking rich as shit. They try. He climbed out the passenger. You see him climb over. <laughs> like I get they're tinted. They're not that black. Yeah. Like you can see through them. Like dash cams and security cameras. You did this in the eighties. You're golden, Raji. Yeah, you're golden. Just like OJ, you're fine. Yeah. Until they open the safe and find the glove and the note that goes. <laughs> He's got it buried somewhere in his yard. Oh, if Carried it comes him. out. It'll it only come out just for a Netflix documentary. It'll, be, it'll come out for a Netflix documentary. Now that he's dead, they can come out with whatever the fuck they want. Because there's nobody to tell him otherwise. That's true. So they're going to still fucking, somebody will like take OJ this. Like OJ says, he avoids LA because he's afraid of the real killer. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking, yeah, split personality motherfucker over there. He's like, I might see a mirror and kill myself. Yeah, as soon as I get there, I just, it starts to come out. Uh, but no, my guess, <laughs> my guess is they're going to, because he fled and because there's eight felonies, they're going to make an example out of him. Yeah. That's what I think. I think he's Should've missing a year. Trade, Dan. Should have took the trade. <laughs> as soon as that, as soon as I don't know anybody else did that, literally the day after that news, I said. He's one of the ones that's like six games most. I'm I like, said yeah, a trade. Right. I said a fourth round pick. Raji Rice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Dude, he was wanting like a high from a okay. pick for him too. I was like, there's no chance. How many trades do you think happen in the NFL between now and the draft? 
The only one, the only one that I happened, think there'll be, they'll all happen on draft day. I don't think you'll see many trades for picks. It's been because nobody's going to trade except for Stefan Diggs, right? Because at this point, nobody's going to trade for a pick if they don't know that their guy's there. I'll take a slap. Oh yeah, you gotta. I got to drive. You got to Uber home. Yeah, you can take the clothes bottle home. That's right. You don't mind. I don't mind. Smarter. I mean, I'm just taking a splash too. Whatever. For a while, we wrap up this episode. We got to have a puka nuka. Cheers. Here, we'll do this. And you I can... won't drink this until we puka nuka. Um, what were we just talking about? You can edit out that whole fucking thing. Hopefully, no. We don't <laughs> edit shit here. Oh, you're right. We're raw dogging. We anyway. are raw dogging. We're, we're ending this episode soon. But you know, we were saying about. Uh, I almost forgot we were recording an episode right there. Did you really? So yeah. Well, I we said about you. Know, I said oh, you got you got an Uber home, and you said yeah, I'm gonna take a little. <laughs> no, I said, I said about it's been really quiet and it's gonna be a bunch of draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trades. I don't think anybody's trading anytime soon. It's I gonna think, be quiet for the next couple of weeks. I think it'll be quiet up into the draft, unless it's like the 101 or 102, 103. Maybe there's gonna be some movement. I don't think the top five teams draft as is right now. I think Arizona moves out. I can see that. I think Arizona's trying to move out big time. Um, I don't know exactly who's going to go up there and snag it, but I think Maybe that's like going to be your Drake May or Jaden Daniels, whichever one doesn't go to. It's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm really curious who Washington's taking. Yeah, I don't know. Washington who. was was I still was think, big at Drake May's pro day. I still think it's going to be Jaden Daniels, and I think it's going to be Drake May. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, and the only reason I say that is because of the, everybody's been saying that, but. All I care about is where does Lad McConkle go? Oh, dude, if he fucking ends up Where with... the fuck did you pull Lad McConkle out of your it's ass? It's McConkey. McConkey. Whatever. Yeah, right. Lad. Dude, go look him up. Look All right, stats, I will look dog. up finger guns. Everybody go look up He's Lad a new Colt McCoy. You watch. We're going to fucking clip this shit when he fucking balls out next year. Oh, he's the he new turns Cooper. into Hunter Renfro. When he's the next Cooper Cup. All right. So we're going to come back in about a week and a half, two weeks to our mock draft that we're going to submit. Do you want to see how to make an azalea? Check us out on TikTok. Follow us, subscribe, comment on everything. Who's not balling? We have, we got a donated, we actually got a first uh, uh, follower to donate a bottle for us to rate. So when we get back to rating. Thank you. Thank you. you. We're already, we're already figuring it out. I can't wait to, because it's a good bottle. I think I've had some angels envy, but I haven't had that one. Yeah. Someone donated the angels envy finished dry said, Hey, do me a favor. Tell me what you think of this. Drink it on your podcast. And I want to know what you think of this. I said, what do you think? He's like, nope, I want to watch yours first. I'm like, okay. Because he knows that I like the rate. I've, I haven't had that one. So you haven't had that one. I definitely haven't. I'm not much of a rye guy, but I like Angel Envy. It's going to be I'm interesting. To it. Last an episode. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Um, oh, the draft's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's the best time of the year, especially for Dynasty Leagues. Go Tiger. Puka Nuka. Go Tiger. Puka Nuka. <laughs>